Hello, and welcome to the PA Cat Chemistry Review. The first thing I want to do is introduce myself. My name is Karen McFarlane Holman, and I am a professor of chemistry at Willamette University. I have been a professor for 20 years, so you are in good hands. And I'm also proud to say that in 2010, I won Oregon Professor of the Year. So I do really love this job that I have as a professor, but I also love teaching online, like I'm doing here with you. And I've also started a YouTube channel with some chemistry tutorials. So I am going to take you on this journey of reviewing. I want you to feel more confident by the end and really ready to kick butt on this exam that you'll be taking. So one of the first things I wanted to do is I wanted to show you or remind you what the content objectives are that were laid out in the PA Cat Bulletin from November 2019. So here's the full list. And I wanted to uh, first point out, I have in the lower right-hand corner, a note that Dalton's Law of Partial Pressures was listed twice on their list. And so I have removed it there, just assuming that that's a typo. And then I wanted to point out that what I have done is I've changed the order a bit. So on this next slide, I show you the order in which I teach all of these topics. And so I'll start out with atoms, ions, molecules, stoichiometry, and then go on from there. Those are fundamental concepts and techniques and tools that will be really helpful as we go through the rest of the content. And so that's why I've changed the order a bit. But I do want you to feel confident that all the content will be covered. And finally, I wanted to point out a fabulous resource for you, and that is OpenStax Chemistry 2nd Edition. This is available to you by free download. You can go to OpenStax.org to get it, or you can also go on Amazon and you can order it and then use it through the Kindle app. So kudos to Rice University for getting grants to be able to support all of their OpenStax textbooks that they make free of charge to every everyone. It's really wonderful. We use it at Willamette University in our courses there. And so I am already familiar with how this textbook works. And I've also will be using a lot of the content that's available from OpenStax with the PowerPoint presentations that I will be using. And so I will also be giving credit to some of the people with OpenStax who have created some of that content. So with that introduction, welcome. You are going to do great whether or not you have just taken chemistry or maybe it's been a few years and you feel rusty. I am here to help you gain your confidence, gain those tools you need, and also the ability to reason through the problems that are asked of you rather than having to memorize. I really, really try to stay away from memorization as much as possible so that you can, as I said, reason through the problems, work through the problems, and I will be doing that with you. So thank you so much for taking this course and let's get going.